Now, we understand that there's been some controversy from Muslim organizations that are trying to, to ban the film. Yeah, that's, see, it's, uh, I, I don't know, uh, because this film is probably the most Muslim-friendly film I have seen in recent times. It's not, not talking about I have made, I have seen, and I'm known to be a man with equipoise. I'm not given to lean to the left or right. I have my own standpoint, and I've been very clear. I'm not a politician. I've never gone into the politics of the situation. But I think I have an ethical duty to take care of my society. And I have a voice, which, deservingly or not, is amplified by the work that I do. So I'm very careful in saying what I, I say. I would never do a film. It's not for the lack of it. it. You can't make an Animal House kind of funny story about religion or in America, maybe. A Monty Python, um, a Life of Brian may not work well in India. And I'm aware of that. And my uh, thing is I love my people. And India has seen a lot of um, Hindu-Muslim differences and suffered because of that. And um, I'm, I grieve that tragedy very much. I think both the countries should have stayed as one. We became three instead. And I, I regret it, but when, who am I? I wasn't even born when the decision were made. But I, I, so I'm very conscious when I make a film not to um, hurt a larger sentiment or create a, a, a sensation through saying something nasty. But it's the duty of the filmmaker to remind what's happening. Like, you make a Mississippi burning, you're not taking the, uh, the American-African side or the white uh, supremacist side. You're just stating the fact and say, this is what we wear. Let's not become it again, ever. It's, it's a kind of a record that you're trying to create. And Vishwarup is not even that. It's it's not a social statement film. It, it's a it's a thriller, which is realistic. It, it's thrilling. It's fast. It's about espionage, but it's it, it it's got its own texture. It's, it's truth and beauty. It's not a documentary. It's not like uh, Bigelow's film, which the grim truth, but it plays. It's, it's, it's around the same area, same uh, theme. Don't you think in banning it, it only makes things bigger? Because I think so. Forbidden? I think they have done, because my um, in one state in India, we have 500 theaters. My film is playing in 500 theaters. And those theaters have already booked out for a week and a half, all of them. <laughs> so, but uh, probably that's what is, but you can't, because uh, my feeling is that the central board of censors, they've sat on the film and th they had representatives from the Muslim community and various other communities, and they have watched the film and thought over it, asked me questions, and they've left it intact. N nothing was removed from the film, except that when we wanted a parental guidance kind of certificate, because that's also for business more than anything else, because parental guidance, uh, adults' films are taxed more. Very strange, funny <laughs> thing in, in my state, but uh, they are taxed more. So we are a bit uh, uh, wary of walking into that territory, so I had to ask for a PG uh, a rating, not an R, as you call it. So uh, we got it, and without any damage at all to the film or the content. And once that is done, you can't have small groups making noises. And this is happening in South Indian. It's a it's a group of South Indian um, Muslims who have who came, and I'm they're my people. I mean, I have to be uh, kind to them. I'm I may not have a religion, but I have love for people. 